and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Ray and today I'm going to be unboxing <laughs> a diamond painting. This actually comes from Crafties and it's been a long time coming, not their fault, but um, can we just address this? I don't know what happened, but <sighs> it's like somebody stomped on it, I guess. Anyway, how are you doing today? Today is Monday, August the 2nd, and it is cold uh, here in Southwest Ireland, which is why I'm wearing a sweater, a sweatshirt. Um, I think it's 55 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> it's cold. It's a little bit chilly, but it's okay. We'll get through it. Oh my goodness. So, this is the kind of heavy duty trash bag material. <laughs> oh. Crafty sent me this kit. Uh, they tried sending it to me twice, and for whatever reason, uh, it just wasn't coming through. So, um, but eventually it got here, which is the good thing. Um, great thing about Crafty's is that they do have licensed artwork, which is awesome. But unfortunately, that fragile sticker doesn't seem to have really helped much. It's not their fault, but... Um, Maybe if, if this was packaged in a tube or something, get out of here, then it would be okay. But look at that. Ugh, gosh. Um, there's bubble wrap on it. So you can check this out. Now this is, I know this has to be a Sybil Art. Sybil Art is one of my favorites. Ooh. And you probably, if you have been following my friend Mrs. Crochet and Coffee, You've probably seen her start and finish one <laughs> uh, from Crafties. Definitely check that out because she's got a different painting than this one. But, all right, <sighs> two minutes later, <laughs> um, they've got a branded box, which is wonderful. Um, it's just that the box, I don't think it's ready for international travel or something. Anyway get in here it says with each order you place you support an artist very good and it tells you what's inside let's get in and have a look I'm so excited okay we've got a poured glue canvas that's everything there let's see we've got a poured glue canvas there it is oops sorry about that and let's see, we've got a toolkit. Ooh, two pens, two squishies, some tweezers, two plates of wax, and a boat. No multi placers. Oh, wait, nope, I lied. There's a six placer on that pen. We've got drills. We'll have a look at those in just a minute. And then I'm going to zoom you out a little bit. So you can see Lena's, Lena's paws right there. This is the painting. Now this is a 40 by 40 diamond painting. It's got 30 colors. It's got the legend on this side. And I think you can see this is what the original image looks like. They've just called her beauty. Oh, there's a bees in this kit. Very cool. I did not expect that. So you can see here the symbol list. I'm gonna have a look at the drill field here in just a minute, but can we just appreciate this art? Like, yes. And also it's a 40 by 40. This will get done really quickly. I have not done a diamond painting that was this small in a while, but I absolutely want to because I miss it. All right, let's look at this drill field. Now this company does not use the training circles, the guide circles, if you want to call them that. Uh, so when you place your diamonds, you won't have any kind of uh, circle peeking out, which is wonderful when you get to like faces and stuff, because I find that and, you know, in a field of white over here and on her shoulder and skin, um, it that's the one thing that annoys me the most is seeing the you know, the halo beneath it, but that looks really good. And the symbols overall look pretty, pretty good. I'm going to look at it with my naked eye because 
I trust it a little more than the camera. The camera sometimes will enhance it a little bit. No, this is this is pretty clear. It could be it could be a little bit clearer. I mean, there's some parts that look a bit fuzzy to me, uh, or like it was double printed, but it's it's all good. Um, I like the fact that it is mostly alphabet. Hi, babe girl. Luna came to say hi. And with 30 colors, I mean, this is going to look really good. So I'm, I'm loving it. I love this. Like there's this watercolor section up here. looks very, very nice. So yes, absolutely love it. I'm going to go ahead and just look at these colors because I want to see what the AB drills are. But if you want to, you can go ahead and skip this part and uh, just go to where I find where the AB drills go on this canvas. All right. So the drills are labeled with the number of the... Uh, the number that's here on the side on the legend but not with the DMC code so you would want to make a note of that if you want to save these drills we've got two of black these drills look pretty good too shiny Ooh, there's there's an AB so this one is 701 AB I like that green. Ooh, I wonder where that's gonna go. Oh, I I can see it. Okay, never mind. And then we've got some more greens. Oh, there's another AB. This one is 666 AB. <laughs> Look at that. I think that's the first time that I've had 666 as an AB. AB is Aurora Borealis. It means that it has that extra iridescent coating on top. See how it's super sparkly? And kind of pinkish and yellowish. We've got purples and pinks and blues. More pink. Ooh, lots of pink. Very nice. Um, let's see what we've got here. We don't have any spillage. All the drills are nice and tightly locked away in their packages. One thing about the way that these drills come is sometimes they get a bit staticky. So to combat that, I will just dump the bag onto a dryer sheet and then use the dryer sheet to funnel them into the storage container that I want to use. And then there's loads of white. Loads and loads of white. Very nice. I guess the only thing that they could look into would be to put them into individual baggies because I know that a lot of people like that. But for something this small, I don't know. It's it's all just a matter of preference. I think this is really good. Um, I'm going to put the details of how much this is on the website at the moment, and I'll have a link to it down below so that you can check it out. But all in all, this is a an oil cloth canvas, so this, this is really tough. But the one thing you want to make sure is that you you can iron this but don't iron it with the plastic on it, okay? Um, or what I would recommend is actually sticking it between your mattress, if you can, or put it under some heavy books for a while just to get rid of the creases here. Um, because this kind of material does sometimes wrinkle a little bit, especially since this one was kind of crunched in shipping. But it should be fine. I'm going to put it in my portfolio so that it'll be nice and flat and, yeah, get all those wrinkles out. Um, another few helpful tints. I really don't like this plastic. Um, this is a super crinkly plastic. And, oh, I can check the glue. It's sticky. It's sticky. Um, I think it could be a little bit stickier. Um but it should do the job. I don't know, I might, I would probably recommend, just from touching it there, I'd probably recommend using a sealant for this type uh, of painting, but I'd have to see what it looks like once it's completed, of course. Um, 
But yeah, I would just recommend maybe using some non-stick parchment paper, not wax paper, never wax paper, ever, 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 and test a really small area first before you go and, you know, apply it to the whole thing. But I just find the crinkling of the plastic to be really annoying. Let's have a look at where those ABs go, shall we? So we've got the 701 AB, which is the green one, and that is the heart symbol. So it's here in her headdress, the stem of these flowers. And I see some here in the bodice of her shirt. You can see it there. Very cool. And then the red one, 666 IB, is the plus symbol. So it's all of these poppies. You can see them there. This red flower, it's sprinkled in this flower, in this flower, and a, a few dots here and there. It's going behind her back and everything. I wonder, was that a tattoo? I can't remember. Anyway. Um, they don't have the original image or an inventory sheet or anything, but that's okay. Um, all in all, I think that it's really awesome that they have licensed artwork. Um, and definitely I would say that while there are some things that I think could be improved, I think this is really the right way for companies to go. And I do appreciate that Crafties did contact me and tried so hard to get me this painting. Thank you so much. Um, as soon as our Fun Never Ends DP along is over, I should make a start on this one. Um, and like I said, I don't think it'll take too, too long to finish either. So with that being said, I hope that you all have a wonderful day ahead. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you stay well and stay safe. If you're interested, like I said, go ahead and click the link down below. I'm not an affiliate for Crafties, but I do like what they're doing over there. And I think that you will too. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all soon in my next episode. Take care guys.